Hey y'all, welcome back to Josh with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I made a video. This is going to be kind of a short one, but uh, just a couple of quick things. We're out here in the yard today. We're going to spread out some uh, insect killer in this yard. Take care of a few uh, issues with some ants and things like that. And we'll spot treat a couple of mounds. But uh, we were actually in this yard Saturday evening and mowed it. And I want y'all to turn the camera around. I want y'all to take a quick look at this. And then we're going to kind of get to it. And I've got a couple of things to mention real quick after we look at the lawn. But take a look at this. We could cut this again today. We haven't gotten a lot of rain. Not a lot of rain since then and that this this whole yard back here looks like that and the front yard may even be a little taller so but hey we're gonna be out here now with the way it's growing and the bahia kicking in around this area we've actually got this lawn and one other lawn that we're going to start cutting uh, portions of on a weekly basis it's not a full cut every week just it's not what the customer wants but just want y'all to see how much this lawn has grown and uh just a little bit of an update i guess is um i just ordered some new uh a new accessory i guess you'd call it for my trailer so i ordered that today so we'll talk about that uh in a later video when it comes in so as soon as it comes in we'll get to that and also i'll do a probably at the same time i'll do a review on my new edger and let y'all know what it is so um been running a steel fc70 for a while curve shaft edger so uh it's it's been giving me some troubles but it's about seven seven and a half years old so it's it's about time for it and um so pick me up a new edger um let me know in the comments below uh what y'all think it might be if y'all got an idea did i get another one or the same did i switch brands did i stick with steel just Give me a guess. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. So, And uh, appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. And uh, maybe we'll get back to some footage here again shortly. I want to show you real quick. Let's go around here. Hold on real quick here. I almost forgot. Let me show you what we're uh, using here. So, I've got my Brindley. Uh... 80 to 100 pound, I think it's a 100 pound pull behind spreader. And we are using the Spectracide Insect Killer for Lawn. So I've used this stuff on my lawn at the house. It does a really good job um, in the times I've used it. So I figured I'd stick with something I know that, that seems to work. And then, like I say, I've got some actual ant killer also in my toolbox that we can use so that's what we're spreading out we're gonna spread it over this lawn and like I say spot treat a couple of mounds and then I might come back for a quick comment on the video or just do a little short wrap-up segment so y'all stick around all right y'all real quick as you can see if you can tell from this distance we got the irrigation running inside the pool we've actually run the whole system except for this, this finishing this zone and the zone down on the other end that goes around the corner so and what we've done is everything that it'll get we've put about uh, just a couple of minutes of water on it it recommends watering in as much of this uh, insect granules as you can well, we are supposed to get a little bit of rain this evening so that should water the rest of the yard back out this way and a little bit out by the road that the irrigation doesn't quite get to so that's what we're doing here and then uh, we'll come back at a later date and we've got to prune the lower pedalums over here if you can see those walk over there in a second but we've also got to trim this tree line if you can see sorry about the wind y'all see how it sticks out a little bit kind of right in here up a few feet we kind of cut it off so it's easier to get real close with the mower and we actually do that basically all the way around and then on the other side over there you can see 
Uh, right in there is a mimosa that sticks out. There's another one right in here, right in this area behind this crepe myrtle in the building, and some right in behind that cedar tree. We've got to cut all those out. So we'll get footage of that stuff. There's a lot more to do here in this yard. And uh, prune some of the shrubs and things like that. Like I said, the lower pedalums up here getting a little a little lengthy they like to keep them down right about the bottom of the handrails so we'll have to cut a little bit off the top of those or midways down on the handrails so as you can see I'm got to cut a little bit off of those so and I got to turn this irrigation off on this one here in just a second and what we'll do Saturday also is they got a lot of weeds and stuff growing up in the in the patio. We'll also spray all of that when we come back uh, Saturday to do a cut and maybe try to get some footage of that. So I got to pick up some weed killer for that, so we can take care of that. So number of things to do in this yard: a lot of bushes to prune, a lot of tree line stuff to cut back, and some unwanted plants like the mimosa and stuff that's in the tree line that a uh, homeowner wants removed so got a lot to do but just kind of an overview of what we're doing today and uh like i say there'll be some some videos coming about some new equipment purchases and some new ex trailer accessory purchases so if you have an idea what you think i might uh might have bought or something from anything you've seen that you think i might need to try out you know Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And again, I thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Y'all take care and stay safe out there. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.